So a Misfit smartwatches are usually a pretty ruddy good choice if you can't quite stretch to the sky high cost of a Samsung Galaxy watch or other pricey premium devices. And this right here is one of their latest and their best, the Misfit GTR4. If you fancy yourself pretty much all of the features that you'd get in a Samsung or an Apple smartwatch, but with the added bonus of superior battery life, then the Amazfit GTR4 may well be what you're after. And this latest model also boasts upgraded GPS tracking for serious accuracy. So I've had this thing clinging to my arm now for the best part of a fortnight, using it as my full-time smartwatch. So here's my in-depth Amazfit GTR4 review, and for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So let's start with how it looks and feels. And yeah, you could certainly say that the Amazfit Watch GTR4 looks pretty simple and straightforward, but it is also a smart looking smartwatch. You've got an aluminium frame, which is cut from a single piece of metal, and it is super light despite the size of it at just 34 grams. And the GTR4 is impressively skinny as well, certainly compared with a lot of other smartwatches. So you barely even feel it when it's sat on your wrist. If you wanted to be a bit of a Debbie Downer, you could say oh, that's quite boring though, isn't it? There's really not much going on beyond, you know, a little bit of red on the buttons there. But to be fair, the likes of the more expensive Samsung Galaxy Watch also didn't really pack any frills or flare in there. Personally, I'd just rather have something that's neat and tidy like this. On the edge there, that stainless steel crown can be rotated to scroll up and down through relevant menus. And you can also long press it to call up Alexa or jump into the app of your choosing. And likewise, that bottom button is a shortcut button. You can quick tap it to load up whichever app you like. By default, it starts to work out. And after a couple of weeks of full on use, the Amazfit Watch GTR4 is still box fresh. Absolutely no nicks or scuffs or scratches to speak of anywhere on that screen or the actual frame. And you've also got five atmospheres of water resistance. So you can take it swimming, snorkeling, whatever you're into. And this right here is the nylon strap that comes bundled with the Amazfit Watch GTR4, but you've got a couple of different options. You could also grab it in leather or fluoroelast fluoroelastomer. I always f up that goddamn word, fluoroelastomer. And like most smartwatches these days, you can quickly and easily whip off this strap, chuck another one on to change up the look and feel. Now, when you first get your Amazfit Watch GTR4, you'll want to download and install the Zep app onto your smartphone. This is used to set up the watch and it's super quick and easy. And the great thing is if you swap your smartphone as well, you can quickly and easily transfer your smartwatch onto the new phone without having to reset it or anything like that. As you can see, I've reviewed a few of the Amazfit watches in my time. And as well as setting up the smartwatch, this app allows you to completely configure it as well. Lots of different tools and settings to play around with. So for instance, in here, you'll be able to set up your health monitoring options, including heart rate monitoring, sleep monitoring, all that good stuff. You can also set up your notifications as well, so you can see exactly which apps are allowed to give you a little buzz on the wrist. You can also download fresh watch faces from in here if you get bored of the default ones. You can change up the widgets that appear on the watch, and you've got some little tools like find watch if it gets lost down the back of the sofa or inside the dog or something. And if you have a fancier detailed breakdown of exactly how healthy or unhealthy you happen to be, just jump on into the Zep app. I've done a mighty 73 steps so far today. I want to calm it down before my heart explodes. Now the display here on the Amazfit Watch GTR4 is a 1.43 inch AMOLED screen. That's a nat's bollock smaller than the old GTR3 Pro panel. It's once again an absolute corker though, 326 pixels per inch, so nice and crisp. Like most AMOLED displays, you've got nice sharp contrast. Those blacks are well and truly black. Nice poppy colors as well, and it's bright enough to clearly see outdoors even when the sun is shining. The auto brightness does the job nicely as well, so it'll dim down in more ambient light and then boost right up to the maximum levels when you are outdoors. Nice wide viewing angles as well, so just as good as the displays you'll find on most premium smartwatches. As for the actual UI, while it's not Wear OS or anything like that on here, what you've got instead is Zep OS version 2.0, baby. It's pretty streamlined and a reasonably smooth experience as well. As you can see, when you're flipping around, you rarely get much in the way of judders. Just little things like when you flick to the media controls just takes a fraction of a second just for the uh, the information to actually pop up. All the widgets you see here are fully customizable so you can take some out, put some fresh ones in if you don't like the general setup. The easiest way of doing this is once again via that Zep app. As you can see, these are all the ones that we currently don't have on there. There's lots to choose from. You can also reorder them so they're set up any way you like. 
And if you just flick your finger right from that main watch face, you'll bring up this rather handy, all-encompassing mega widget screen. Again, fully customizable. This gives you fast access to the Alexa Assistant, your media controls, and lots of health stats and shenanigans, the weather, etc. Again, by default, you can fully customize this. My only complaint here is that once again, those media controls can be a little bit slow to get going. And if you flick down from the main watch face, you can play around with pretty much any of the watch settings right here on the device itself. You've got the usual handy stuff like you can mess around with the brightness levels, you've got theatre mode, a do not disturb, good old sleep mode as well for when you're getting a bit of 40 winks at night. Tap this little cog icon down here at the bottom and as you can see there you've got fast access to all of your settings so it's really good that you can play around with this stuff directly on the watch as well as via the Zep app. As for the watch faces, well there's not a massive number pre-installed here on the Watch GTR 4 and they're all kind of similar, mostly analog, mostly just very straightforward black background boring efforts. But if you want to shake things up a bit, just dive back on into that Zep app, go to Watch Faces, and you've got a much wider variety on here. The only problem being that quite a lot of them you do have to actually pay real life money for. So of the 200 or so Watch Faces that are on offer, quite a lot of them do cost money. I'd say it's probably about half and half. This does include a selection of very funky animated Watch Faces, however, to really liven up your wrist. Of course, because these are a bit bigger than just the static watch faces, you are looking at quite a considerable amount of time to actually sync things up. So I hope you're the patient type. And pretty much all of the small watches have a matching always on display as well, just to keep the experience consistent. And if you go to the custom background section, you can actually download your own photos and images or use pictures of your family, your pets, whatever you fancy and create your own personalized watch face. Now, if you push in the crown just the once, don't long press it, then you'll bring up a list of all of the apps that are downloaded here onto the Watch GTR 4. All of the basics are on here, including your weather app, your music, your alarm, calendars, timers, all that good stuff. You've got a compass and a barometer, you've got stress tracking, voice memos, even a Pomodoro timer, which I've never even heard of before I reviewed this watch. Apparently it's a form of time management. You just set it for anything between five and 60 minutes on five minute increments. And the watch will then count down, giving you that amount of time to focus on a particular task. Notifications will be blocked off and everything as well to keep you in the zone. And then when that time is over, you get a little bit of respite and then you can start all over again if you want. You can actually store music on the watch as well if you want to untether from your smartphone. Go enjoy some complete freedom. You've got about two gigs of space to play with. So certainly a very healthy selection of apps and you can actually download more via the Zep app as well. It's got its own built-in app store. This is very poorly organized though, it is literally just a list which is rather great and but to be fair there's only a few dozen apps in here so it won't take you long to check them all out anyway. And most of these are very basic indeed or they basically do the same job as another app that you've already got on the watch so pretty pointless. You do have a small selection of games and time wasters as well if you're really really bored. My favourite is most definitely the Tap the Numbers in the Correct Order game, it's an absolute thriller. Who needs GTA 6 eh? All sarcasm aside though, you do have to immediately download Disco Flashlight, which is just the best thing ever. Let's get the party started. Now notifications here on the Amazfit GTR 4 are pretty decent to be fair. You've got full control over which apps are allowed to notify you and when you do get an email, you do get a fair bit of text to flick through so you can decide whether it's worth responding to or not. And unfortunately, with the vast majority of apps, you can't actually respond via the watch itself. All you can do is delete a notification. If you want to actually reply, you'll have to go to all the trouble of pulling your phone out of your pocket and doing it the old fashioned way. Now the Amazfit Watch GTR 4 comes with a built-in speaker and mic like many premium smartwatches out there. Great if you just want to you know, answer a phone call right there on your wrist without any other faff of picking up your smartphone. Mike does a pretty good job of picking up your voice even in a fairly noisy environment, not too raucous of course, and the speaker is loud enough so you can hear what is going on again as long as there's not too much background noise going on. And as far as smartwatch assistants go, where well, you've got Alexa baked into this thing, but unfortunately I was really struggling to get it to work at my time with the GTR 4. For some reason my Amazon account wasn't like in life on the Zep app, so I kept getting this check internet connection message. I'm going to keep on working at it, see if I can figure out what the bloody problem is. Now slapped here on the bottom end of the Amazfit Watch GTR 4 is the fresh new BioTracker 4.0 sensor, which is apparently it's even more accurate than previous models and also can record more shenanigans than ever before. Now as before you have an app on here which can record four different metrics with just a single poke. That's your heart rate, your SpO2 levels which is basically your blood oxygen, your stress levels and also your breathing rate. 
Only takes 45 seconds and it's handy if you want all those metrics all in one quick go. And the Amazfit Watch GTR4 can also keep track of your Pi score, which is basically just a way of showing you how active you've been over the past seven days. And of course, you've got the usual step count shenanigans, all that good stuff as well. Although the step count seems a bit all over the place, to be honest. It seems reasonably accurate when I'm actually walking. But then other times it'll reckon I've done literally thousands of steps when I've just been stud in this very room right here, just shooting video. So not really sure what's up with that. And like pretty much all smartwatches these days, the Amazfit Watch GTR 4 can track a frankly ludicrous number of different exercises and workouts. Whether you're into combat, water, balls, even stuff that could never feasibly be described as a workout, like playing a nice game of Ludo. I'm sorry, but if it's not Twister, then surely it is not a workout. And the Amazfit Watch GTR 4 can also automatically start tracking a small number of exercises, including walking, running, rowing, and cycling. I certainly did find though with the walk and I had to boost the sensitivity of the auto tracking up to high, otherwise it just would not even acknowledge that I was moving about the place. But once I'd done that, it then worked really, really well, picked up when I started walking almost immediately and recorded the full route, only finally stopping when I actually stopped for around half a minute or so. And again, when you are in the middle of a workout session, the UI will look very familiar to anyone who's used to Wear OS and things like that. You got all your stats popping up there on the main display. You can flick this way to access your media controls and you can flick this away to either pause or finish the workout. The watch can also help you do interval training if you're weightlifting or something like that. As for your third party health app support, where you got Strava support on the GTR 4 and apparently Adidas running support will be added in a future update. Now, one of the big upgrades for the GTR4 of a previous Amazfit smartwatches is the satellite tracking. Apparently, this thing uses five different positioning systems, and that's also apparently not enough because support for a sixth one will be added in a future update. And certainly when I've done, you know, a walk or a run, checked out the route map afterwards, the accuracy is very impressive indeed. It never seems to stray more than a couple of feet from where I actually went. And if you're the kind of person who likes generally piddling about in the wilderness for whatever reason and you happen to get yourself lost, well, no worries, this watch can help generally guide you back to where you started without too much hassle. You've also got full support for sleep tracking here on the Amazfit Watch GTR4 and it can allegedly even record any daytime naps you take, so be warned, this thing knows when you're skiving off work. Sadly, I didn't really have a chance to test out this daytime snoozy feature because everyone is releasing all of the tech right now. Gotta say, the sleep tracking isn't the most accurate or useful here on the Amazfit watch. For instance, like this day here, I woke up several times during the night, spent a good couple of hours just staring at the ceiling, having your usual mild anxiety attack, all of that good stuff, and apparently that gave me a sleep score of 95. And at no point did the watch actually recognise that I was awake. However, as usual with the Amazfit, it is all good news when it comes to the battery life. You've actually got a bigger battery stuffed inside of the GTR4 compared with previous models. It's 475 milliamp hours now. Amazfit reckons this will deliver 14 days of standard use. It's actually closer to about eight days of use. And that's if you're doing lots of exercise tracking on this thing, you've got the always on display active, etc., etc. So over a week still, which is very bloody good for a modern smartwatch especially when you consider most Wear OS watches and the likes of the Apple Watch Ultra, which is basically like having a house brick strapped to your arm. They can only go a couple of days between charges at best. And you've got the usual power saver mode if you want to strip away most of the smart functionality, leave it with the most basic functions such as, you know, telling the time. And that gives you then about a month of use on a single charge. So good news if you're buggering off into the middle of nowhere where there's no power points to charge it back up again. And then when it is fully drained, just slap the Amazfit Watch GTR4 on the bundled magnetic dock and about two hours on there will give you a full charge. So there you have it, my lovelies. That is my full final frank review of the Amazfit Watch GTR4, a pretty solid feature packed smartwatch costing just £200, which is a damn sight cheaper than the likes of your Apple watches, your Samsung Galaxy watches, despite the fact you've got much better battery life. Of course, on the flip side, the Amazfit Watch GTR 4, yes, it can be a bit more shonky. It's not quite as slick. You don't have the same dedicated app support, for instance. But what do you guys reckon? Are you tempted by the Amazfit Watch GTR 4? Be great to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. And have yourselves a ruddy, wonderful rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.